Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday. We're still in the Lowlander Village on Venus. We've just retrieved a medical supply kit from the town hall, and now we need to return to the northeast corner of town and give the medical kit to the people who need it. So, let's... Get turned around and start heading back out. Fortunately, I don't think Ram Assassin teens come inside the town hall. I hope I'm not proved wrong on that. Okay, now we're outside again. We can go straight ahead now. We've been inside this building before. We can go straight ahead to the wall again. And we can go straight ahead for now. We're going to go past this door, almost up to that second door. Well, actually past that second door. Go all the way to the corner and go on up basically follow the wall until we get to where the fleeing lowlanders are Whew. the survivors take the supply kit gratefully and escape with it over the wall the leader hangs back i have little more to offer she says but this will be helpful you receive a map you study it carefully and you record it as logbook entry 46 so this is okay this is a partial map of the Venus Ram base it looks like it's part of level four the base is hidden in a mountain far to the south and a few steps east good luck she leaves Okay, and I think that was the last thing we had to do inside the Lowlander Village. So let's save. And then head out of town. So I think we'll keep following the wall. Yeah. Go down to where we run into that wall. And then I think we'll take about maybe two more steps west and then due south till we get back to the entrance. There we go. You're at the main gate of the Lowlander town. Do you want to leave? Yes. You face the entrance to the demolished Lowlander village. Will you re-enter the village? Uh, no, thank you. Right. And looking at the overland map, this area here is where I think we need to head to. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, save real quick and start moving south. You hear marching to the 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 south. There's a much used path into a cave of old cables and girders here. Enter the ruins? Yeah, sure. Scott.dos materializes as you enter the cave of twisted girders and decaying cables. You're in a segment of the remains of the Venusian space elevator. It was destroyed by Ram in 2285 
and the ruins are scattered throughout the lowlands. The ruins of the surface lighting is confusing my sensors, so be careful. It's a perfect place for Ram to hide machinery or weapons. From here you can climb back up to the jungle. Do you want to leave the ruins? Uh, not right now, thank you. So let's save. Let's see if we've got an area view here. Of course not. We'll move. Okay, there's nothing that direction, so we want to turn south. And you feel very uneasy here. You hear hushed whispers close by. Yeah, if we were to go down that way, there'd be an earth solder den in that section. There's nothing really worth going for there, so let's just continue on south. And we go, a ladder leads to a developed area underground. Will you go down the ladder? Yeah, sure. Okay. And now, okay, I see where we are. We're going to turn and go west. Ventilation cables creak above you. Okay. And if we go through this door, there's a meeting room there, but there's really nothing in there right now. So let's keep going. And it's basically the last door on our left that we want to enter. This is a small computer room. A lone RAM technician is seated at one of the terminals. He sees you and quakes in fear. He promises not to reveal your presence if you let him go. Do we trust him? I don't think so. Let's interrogate him, though. I only fix gliders, the technician says. You could check the computers for more information. Here's the key to the glider hanger. Please let me go. He gives you a hanger key. You still have to decide what to do with the technician. Uh, let's tie him up. You bind and gag the technician and lock him in a nearby supply closet. You call dot, Scott dot Doss to help you investigate the computer room. He searches the databases and comes up with some information. You record his findings as logbook entry 30. Scott.Doss materializes before you. He looks as grim as you've ever seen him. I found a schedule for the Ram Lowland operation. Oh, wait a minute. That's Yeah, he tells you. Ram promised the Lowlanders that they'd prevent further terraforming. But they've been using Lowlander technology to research how such terraforming could be most efficiently accomplished. Not only that, but they recently imported a fleet of specialized gliders that can withstand the Venusian climate for long periods. Each glider has enough ammunition to abolish an entire village. Ram won't be satisfied with only destroying the closest village to their base. They apparently plan to wipe out the entire Lowlander population and take over production of Gravitol themselves. The repercussions would be devastating for Neo. Okay. So. Okay, now we can go back out of this room as soon as we save. And we can now go through this south door. No amount of firepower would open this door, but your key works easily. You unlock the door. So. Oh, computers. Computers are humming. 
and ah. Okay, we want to go all the way down to the end of this hall. You find a detonator key card, but you need the corresponding control box to use it for anything. Okay, so now we go through this door here. This is a hangar full of ram gliders. Above you is a glass dome, camouflaged by swamp murk and shrubbery. You find no way to open the door, so the gliders are useless. Okay, we're going to cross the glide. You hear footsteps approaching from behind. Okay, and we can go through these doors. Now, if we go east, there'd be a tunnel to the Venusian Ram base, although it's guarded. Hmm. Okay, so I think we want to go west. Here's a control box. You also find some explosive grenades. Ooh, nice. Okay, I think. Can okay, of course, Hosita can't take them. She's already jam full. Uh, I guess we'll have to dump one of the spare laser rifles. But I believe she already has the grenade launcher equipped, so she should be okay. You may now activate the box and program the gliders to self-destruct. Destroy the gliders? Uh, okay. You activate the control box with the detonator key and tune it to each of the gliders. The gliders explode. You hear a crash as the dome shatters. There's an ominous rumbling as the ruins settle and swamp muck drips onto your team through cracks in the ceiling. Yeah, I think the quest for clues walkthrough suggests going to this room first, then picking up the detonator card after we've crossed back through the glider hangar. Of course we did it the, the opposite way. More challenging, I guess. Okay. So, we might have to fight critters. Around you is the wreckage of the glider hangar. Twisted bits of glider lie strewn throughout the room. Unidentifiable jennies peer down through the shattered dome. Well, let's try to get out of as quickly as we can. Whew. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. And this is the door that we went through to get in here. Security door is wide open. A tangle of cables collapsed in the explosion. One team member can try to climb over and clear a path. Who climbs over the cable? Okay, well let's take a look. See who's got the best climb skill. Okay, now it's got a climb of 40. No, no, no. Skills. Jorah's got a climb of 48.
Yeah. Check skills. Okay. Forget about using Scotty. Okay. The we'll seat is 41. <coughs> okay. Forget about Bran. Let's take a look at Pod Kane. She'd be the last one. Oh, she's got a climb of 65. Okay, so I think we'll have her try. You succeeded in climbing over the cable. The team can continue onward. Okay. We'll save. And we're going to take the ladder back up to the ruins. And... Just go back out the way we came in. Oh, okay. We got some RAM robots here. Okay. Yeah, nasty saving throws. Perhaps there, as long as it's mini explosive grenades. I don't think a plasma throw would be a very good idea in such confined quarters. That looks good. Well, I don't think I'm controlling Leander at this time, so hopefully Leander is sensible enough to switch to one of the other weapons I gave him. Now we can have Nala try out that Mercurian pole arm. Ah, uh, don't shoot at Zane. He's just a baby. Or at least a preschooler. going to have to bandage Zane. I hope she used pretty band-aids on them. Not quite sure what would constitute little kid band-aids for a Venusian lowlander, but Yeah, at least draw little smiley faces on them or something. I don't think aerosol mist grenades will have any effect on mini explosive grenades.
There, that looks good. Good. Good job, Nala, taking out that robot by yourself. Okay, that guy is already stunned, so no sense using any more stun grenades just now. Yeah, it'll work. Ooh, Lucita doesn't have very many hit points left. We do want to kind of want to keep her alive. Okay, no more mini explosive grenades. Leander rushed in. Good job, Jora. And I think we just have the one Ram Warrior left. Yay, Nala! Hosita really needs to heal up. Yeah, got some aerosol mist grenades, which I think I'll give those to Leander. I think I got rid of my other ones. And I'm not going to worry about taking the rest of this. Yep, Hosita and Zane are both ready for promotions. Not that I think we're going to worry about taking Zane to a training hall anywhere. He needs to find his daddy. Yeah, we don't need to go up that hallway to the side. Just keep going. From here you can climb back to the jungle. Do you want to leave the ruins? Yes. No, I don't want to re-enter the ruins. Now, go south. Search the large peaks along the south edge of the wilderness map to find the ram base. Save and move. We're surrounded by hills, you're in the mountains. Ooh, and we found an acid frog shrine, which presumably is not far away from the Venusian ram base, which we will explore in the next episode. So we will see you then.